What's up everyone, GTA King here, back with another GTA video. Now this one is the car to car merge, but it is with the Galaxy Super Yacht. Please note, I do have the word Galaxy Super Yacht in the title, so you know the difference between the two, because I did upload a car to car to merge prior to uploading this one that does not involve the Galaxy Super Yacht, but the glitch out is similar to this method. It so if you do not have the funds in the game to purchase the Galaxy Super Yacht or you don't own one, go check out the previous video on the channel. But it's the glitch out to it is very similar to a T. But pay attention closely but in this version, you will need the Galaxy Super Yacht, a CEO, the car that you want to pull the mods from, the car you want to put the mods onto, and you will need a membership at the LS Car Meet. You will need someone inside a different targeting mode. So if you are an assistant aim, you will need someone like Analac or Try Me Foom and uh free aim now try me full is only on xbox new gen analac has accounts on old gen for xbox and playstation and he has accounts for xbox new gen and playstation new gen so you have to just look up analac and pretty much all his uh, gamer tags are the one with the Joker profile. Now I'm on Xbox New Gen at the time of recording this, so I'm gonna be using Anawak XS. Yes, and this method is very much consistent, guys. But before you do anything, you're gonna want to register as a CEO. And you want to open up your settings, go to online, go down to options, and you want to set these settings like you did in the previous video for the other car to car merge. Urge. You want to make sure your match making is set to closed. And you want to make sure you have the allow spectators box, allow spectators to off. And join next mode from spectators box to don't join. Now you will find those three things inside of the pause menu under online under options. And so if you take closely closer look at my screen you will see that those three are set how they want to. Now I do want to advise you, you before we get into this. You can mod your facility vehicle, such as the Chargo Bob, the Tank, the Thruster, and the RCV Truck. Now, however, the version after you end the sprint race, where you would just start up caged in, register as an MC President to take in the LS Customs to change something on it, does not work anymore. So your friend will need to own a party bus. Inside a CEO office. Because he will have to get glitched out. And you will have to give it to him. Through the facility method. Of give cars the friend glitch. To save such vehicles as that. And also same thing with terabytes. Once he gives it to you. He just wants to give it back to you so you have it because what was previous on that vehicle before you put your mods onto it, it will go back onto it when you return it back to the storage. But once you get it to him, it's saved and all he has to do is give it to you so then you have it. But in this video we will not be modding one of those, we'll be modding a car so we are good to go. We won't have to worry about doing the GC2F. So we just want to bounce off of Anilac in a different targeting mode. So we want to accept the first alert and decline the second one. So we accept, decline, 
and we want to go up to the spectator box and we want to press run on our d-pad now we're going to get an invite from our friend in the ls car meet to tighten of a job once he sends us the invite we want to accept his invite we're just going to wait for his invite to tighten Now that we're on the alert, he can back out, and we're just going to wait for him to let us know that he has backed out. Once he backs out, you just want to double tap your A button two times very quickly, and listen for the three pumps, and when the third pump fades away, you want to press A. Now... If you did things wrong and you pressed A too quickly, it will load you inside the arena war. Now, if you did everything correctly, you will load how I did outside of the arena with no mini map. So, once again, if you load it into the arena war, you just want to bounce, but just back out and you want to bounce off of Anawak again. And then you want to have your friend go back into Titan. If you load it like we did, on the ground in front of the arena with no mini map you're good to go now your friend just wants to send you an invite to the LS car meet once we get that we can head on over there once we're inside the LS car meet we're just gonna call out our car now the car that we're calling out is the car that has the mods on it that we're taking the mods from now, I already had that car out on the map, so I'm just going to put my interactions menu, and I'm just going to request my personal vehicle. Now, if I didn't have that car out on the map, I would want to call up my mechanic, and I would want to request it from my mechanic. So, I just want to make sure that my car is in here. Now, it does not matter who starts up the sprint. Either your friend can, or you can start it up yourself. Elf. I just want to make sure our car did spawn in. So we can go ahead and we can continue with the glitch. Because you want to make sure it is the right car that you want to pull the mods from. So my car is in here. So now I'm just going to wait for my friend's sprint invite. And I'm going to accept the sprint. And I'll tell you the next steps once we're inside the sprint. Now you do not have to be inside your car. Or a lot of people think oh you have to be sitting inside your car to be able to start a sprint or to join a sprint. But you do not have to. You, know, you can easily just be walking around just chilling like a villain waiting for the sprint to start. Once you are inside the sprint, you want to make your way to the LS Customs um, for whoever is modding. The other person, they just want to drive around so they don't get kicked for being idle. So once it says 3, 2, 1, go, we just want to make our way over to the LS Customs. We're just going to use the nearest one on the map. Now, I will have the link in the description for the one that does not use the Galaxy Super Yacht. I will have that link in the description, but it will be the previous video that is up on my channel before this one got posted. So, once we go over here to the LS Customs, we want to open up Interactions menu. We want to go into our Secure Serve, Retire, and we're going to go back in Interactions menu, register as a CEO. Go back in the interactions menu, go to secure serve, and we want to request a buzzard. Once we request that buzzard, we're going to drive the car into the LS Customs. Once we get it in, we going to want to press B one time to get on the exit menu. 
And then we want a whole wide respond if we're on Xbox, triangle on PlayStation. And once we're on that infinite black screen, we're going to want to bounce off intellect for the final time. So we're going to join on his game. And we're going to accept the first alert and climb the second. And we want to accept the third alert that says about the failed job. From there, we want to make our way to our buzzard. Now, if we waste time getting to the buzzard, you will respawn and you'll spawn back in the car. That means you failed. So you want to very quickly run from those customs to the buzzard. So do not waste any time. Once you're inside the buzzard, you want to take off and fly away. When you do, you are going to want to wait till you respawn and then you're take off again and you're going to want to fly to your galaxy super yacht now that we did respawn now our friend will be able to see us on the map where previous yes he was not able to from here, we just want to make our way over to our Galaxy Super super Yacht. And we want, to, in the process on the way over there, we want to go ahead and call up our Yacht Captain and be hovering over request personal vehicle. So we're able to request one once we get there. Now, if you're too high in the air, you will not be able to do it. But you have to be right over the Yacht at a certain altitude. It, so you have to kind of play with it. Sometimes you might be too high in the air. You might have to get a little bit lower. Uh, sometimes if you're not a good pilot at hovering over it, then just try to land onto the yacht. <clears throat> so we're just going to make our way over to the Galaxy Super Yacht. And we're going to request that personal vehicle out that we want to put the mods on to. We're not requesting the car that we taken the mods from. We're requesting the car that we want to put the mods on to. So we are too high in the sky. So I'm trying to bring it down low. So I might have to circle around so I can get back over to my yacht. If I can't get low enough before I fly to over my yacht. So right now I should be good enough to press A and request personal vehicle. I just want to go to the garage that the vehicle's in and request it out. And once it spawns in on the map, I want to hold Y to respond on Xbox and press triangle to hold the respond on PlayStation. So now it's out on the map. We're just going to hold Y. And now we did respawn. Now we just want to start up a job on our map. And then back out in the sprint race. Or a friend could just leave the game. And back out of the game. Aim to end the sprint race. Or we could have completed the sprint. Now like I said. If we were doing... The 6x6 six six vehicle, the brick aid, aid, or if we were doing the terabyte or RCV or charger bob or tank or anything that has a weapon nine, weapons on it, it, unfortunately, we would have to do the GC2F. So this is where now, if we were doing something like that, we would want our friend to head to the CEO office. To get ready to get glitched out for the facility method. But we just did a car. So we're good to go. So we don't have to worry about doing the GC2F. F. The MOC method. Saving with, uh, with weaponized vehicles will not work. Because you will not be able to get a special vehicle out. While you have the vehicle out that you modded at the same time. So if you want to do the MOC method, you will need to have a third person join the lobby to glitch your friend out who's receiving your vehicle to save it and to uh, do the MOC method. That is why I'm telling y'all to do the facility method if you need to save it that way.
Hey, but you only need to do that with if weaponized vehicles, the Chargo Bomb, the Thruster, the Mark II like, Presser, anything that has weapons. And so if y'all did enjoy this video, did find it easy, please go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and join my GTA Discord server. Link will be in the description. And I hope this glitch was very successful to y'all. And if you can, go ahead and smash that like button. And I will catch y'all inside the next video. Peace out. And I'm gone.